We're still ahead. Well, as the school year wraps up, though, we sh shine the spotlight on our final standout student. That's right. He is a Maple Grove senior, and he's well on his way to becoming a doctor. You know, this is happening at early ages, and it's out there. It's happening. There's a future physician sitting in this Maple Grove High School health class. And once again, how important it is. Senior Rajiv Darni Pragada has already been accepted into medical school at the University of Minnesota. More on that later. So that's first things first. But this 18-year-old started taking math classes at the university as a kid. I have a really strong relationship with the U. And it started in fifth grade. I started in Algebra 1 and then finished in 10th grade in Calculus 3. It's impressive. Rajiv graduated in 10th grade from the U's Accelerated Youth Mathematics Program. And he's been doing research projects in plant biology, oncology, and neuroscience at the university ever since. But being gifted in math and science isn't the only thing you need to know about Rajiv. He's just a very compassionate, um, and it's not, you don't always see that combination with somebody who's so gifted academically and driven to go into medicine, but also has, you just know they're going to have great bedside manner and good with people. In a clinical setting, I would say that the communication skills and the doctor-patient interaction is just as important as the science. Rajiv understands the importance of humanities in medicine. He's learned it in part by watching his parents. My mom's a Indian classical dance teacher and just watching her being able to influence so many lives with arts is amazing. Now back to medical school. Rajiv is one of just 10 students accepted into a new accelerated seven-year program at the University of Minnesota. It will result in undergrad and medical school degrees. Yeah. Increasing the odds this future doctor might one day treat you and me. I give the U of M credit for trying to keep these high achieving students because he was uh, accepted to many other programs that could have left us. So I'm so glad he's staying in our state.